Hi, I'm Marty Beard, the CEO of Always AI. I'm super excited to launch a new video series about computer vision, but specifically focused on what are the business implications of computer vision. We are Always AI, a software company completely focused uh, on the computer vision space and making application development and deployment really easy. But let's step back for a second. Why are we focused on computer vision? We've gone through the mobile, uh, the mobile wave, of course, where we learned how to run our businesses completely on our smartphones. Um, we've been able to leverage more powerful networks. We've been able, able to leverage cloud computing and get more information to, to the mobile phone where we can make decisions. But now with computer vision, we're moving even closer to a truly real-time environment. And this is happening because site is starting to get automated. We've all seen the automation of voice and we've seen the automation of messaging. Uh, we've seen the automation of many human senses, but vision, potentially the, the strongest and most powerful sense, uh, is right on the cusp of getting automated and getting accessible and getting out on the edge where work and life happens. This is exactly why Always AI exists, and this is what we're all about. So that's why we're focused on computer vision. Frankly, we think this will be one of the biggest technology waves with one of the largest impacts across all industries that we've seen, and we're super excited to be part of it. So let's talk about computer vision. What, what exactly is this new phenomenon, this new trend? Basically, computer vision is a part of AI, artificial intelligence, that basically allows computers to be able to see, observe, and interact with their environment. It's basically allowing machines to see. So what does that mean? The, the reason that computer vision has really taken off and become a dominant part of the whole AI phenomena is something called deep learning. And basically, all that did is it took algorithms, machine learning algorithms, and it made them even smarter. It made them able to learn uh, and get smarter, get better over time. So the information that is being delivered, in this case, to a camera, to a drone, to a car, that information is getting absorbed uh, and getting provided and, and learning better and better and better. So we're getting more accurate information over time. This is really the phenomena of so-called deep learning and part of the reason that we've seen machine learning, the more general category, and then AI in, in an even broader view, really start to take off. But let's just focus on it's providing vision uh, on a computer. Now, why the edge? We're very focused on what we call the edge. It's another fancy term. Silicon Valley loves to throw out terms. Really what this just means is a sensor. And it could be in a camera. It could be in, as I said earlier, like a drone. Uh, it could be in a medical device. It could be in some kind of a transportation vehicle, a car, a scooter. It could be in a robot, right? So wherever that sensor is, we're applying deep learning algorithms onto the sensor so that sensor can do some work. Again, out on the edge in the environment where work and life happens. So this is really what uh, computer vision is, is all about. And again, the magic here is this ability to, to learn. And we're in a situation now in tech where we've got more and more data, so-called big data. We've got more and more edge devices out there in the world. And we're marrying those with deep learning algorithms to create insight, to create intelligence. And we're doing that in real time. This is gonna completely change the way that companies operate and the way that we actually conduct our lives because now we're gonna be able to get this information quickly in real time and be able to act on it, understand it, and make better decisions in our lives. So now let's really get into the more exciting part of this first video. How is computer vision going to impact business? Now, Always AI is really fortunate that We've been focused on this space for several years, and we now have over 20,000 developers that have been using the product and providing information to us. And we've been able to watch what people actually do in the field of computer vision 
what are the areas that they're excited about, what are the challenges that they face, uh, and we've been able to improve our own product to serve that community as we get more and more information. But at the same time, we've been able to work with just amazing enterprises that are really on, in the forefront of adopting this new technology. It's clearly a horizontal phenomenon. Uh, there are companies in retail, there are companies that are manufacturers, there are smart cities, there are transportation vehicles, there are medical companies. Everybody is trying to figure out how computer vision uh, can help their business. But what we've learned is computer vision is impacting the entire value chain from making a product. So here we're talking about logistics and we're talking about manufacturing uh, and labor and everything that goes into making products to selling. So everything involved in marketing and selling and optimizing the experience for the customer at the point of sale, uh, all the way to uh, customer support. So, you know, providing even better support after you've sold your product. So that whole value chain is starting to be impacted very substantially by computer vision. We've seen manufacturers adopt it to uh, optimize their processes, make them even more efficient, not waste materials, make sure that people are where they should be, doing the right type of work and, and optimizing that whole process. That became even more important uh, during the pandemic and during the disruption that we saw to supply chains. And we've started to see the impact of robotics on that whole part of, of, of business. But now selling, so now whether it's a, you know, a physical environment, you're trying to understand what does your customer do when they enter the store or they walk through the city? What, what, is, what are they interested in? What are the brands that are getting the most attention? Uh, what products seem to be flying off the shelves? What are the ones that need to be repositioned? So all kinds of analysis going on in terms of selling. And obviously this will impact advertising and product placement and, and all kinds of important decisions that previously have been made off data that's old uh, and analyzed historically. This is now real-time information. So we're, again, we're seeing it across lots of different companies. We're seeing it across the value chain and we're seeing the benefits both to the top line, you're selling more because you're placing your products in the right places, or you're building your city out in a way that's the way that your citizens want you to do it, uh, or you're creating an environment that uh, is more optimized for the experience, whatever it is you're providing. So we're seeing that sort of top line benefit, but also the bottom line benefit as we look for opportunities to be even more uh, uh, profitable and, and operate even more efficiently and make sure that we're doing that also also in a healthy and safe manner. These are top line, bottom line impacts. Super excited to see this starting to emerge across all industries. So what is a good example? Let me, let me dive into a, a specific use case um, and something that again, uh, we're very fortunate that we've got detailed uh, insight into this by working with uh, large companies that are actively, you know, deploying always AI uh, applications and technology. So you're a retailer and you have placed your products in the store in a way that you think optimizes the selling experience and it's going to optimize your, your top line. Um, you've used computer vision by installing cameras and those deep learning algorithms that I talked about earlier that are really optimized for understanding more about the type of customer that's coming into your store, but also where they're going and what brands they're interacting with. One way to think about this would be zones. So let's say that you've created a store and you've identified several zones in your store. Maybe one zone has one brand and a different zone has a different brand. Uh, and you want to be able to analyze those zones in, in real time. You want to see which ones are getting the most traffic. And when somebody enters the zone, what brands are they, are they looking at? So you've got cameras that are smart and they're using deep learning computer vision models and applications that are able to provide that information to you in real time and also allow you to assess it historically. So you can look back and say, okay, this is what we learned today in the last week, in the last month. Um, you've also been able to learn about your shoppers. Sometimes they go into a zone, they leave it, they go back into it, they leave it, and you're learning, okay, who, who is mostly in, interested in that zone? 
Um, what are the demographics of the shopper interested in that zone versus that zone? So you're just getting uh, more insight in real time into preferences, brand affinity, product placement, and traffic flow throughout, throughout the store. This is the kind of information that can make or break your top line and also support your bottom line. And we're starting to see more and more retailers and brands see computer vision as an amazing opportunity for them to do that. And we're glad to be able to help them. So now let's, let's talk about how Always AI helps make this happen. What, what do we do and, and why are we doing it the way we do it? So let me just quickly describe high level the platform. So we refer to the Always AI development platform. It is focused on enabling that enterprise developer to build an, a computer vision application and then deploy it very easily out onto an edge device and actually run it on that edge device and then get information analysis analytics about what's happening. We're very focused on making that end-to-end -end process super simple, super intuitive, uh, and very easy to, to manage. Computer vision is an active uh, implementation environment. And by that I mean, unlike other phenomena that I've been able to see in my career, computer vision changes a lot. You're changing a model. You're getting new information and you want to retrain that AI model. You're up updating your application. You have something new that you want to try or something new that you want to perceive in the environment that you've got the cameras trained on. And so these type things happen all the time. It's very active uh, and needs a platform that can be very flexible, which is what we built. So there's really three parts of the platform. There's one part of focused on the AI model. So we have a model catalog. Uh, well over 100 models now, that allow a developer to pick the model that they think is the best one for them to get started on. Um, we talk about the 80-20 rule. It's 80% of what we think anybody interested in, for example, object detection would need to get going. And then, of course, they're going to customize that last 20% for their specific needs. So we have this model, model catalog. We also enable model training. So many customers say, look, I don't need a model from your catalog. I already have one. We've been working really hard on it. Um, and so we, but we'd like to be able to deploy that on the edge, or we'd also like to be able to train that model based on new visual inputs that we get from the edge. So we provide a model training capability uh, that allows uh, the developer, again, within our environment to go ahead and train that model retrain the model as many times as you as you would like. So that's the model part of uh, our product. The second part is our, our API. We all talk about the API economy and, and, and API software platforms, et cetera. We have a very powerful set of Python APIs that enable a developer to do what they need to do to build that computer vision application. Uh, and these APIs range across a, a wide variety of areas that we know developers face as they get deeper into object detection or they get into pose estimation, body movement or object movement. They get into semantic segmentation. They get into the various aspects of computer vision that everybody's uh, challenged with as they build these applications and get ready to deploy them. The APIs are intended to be easy, but also extremely powerful. So somebody who's new to computer vision can get going. Somebody who's an expert can customize to their heart's content. So that's, that's the second part of this. And obviously we're constantly updating both the first part, the model catalog, and the second part, the APIs. The third part, which in many ways is the hardest part of this uh, phenomena of computer vision on the edge, is actually being able to take that application, deploy it out onto an edge device, and run that application on the device. We have an amazing capability here of delivery of the application very easily onto an edge device. Uh, if it's an ARM-based device, x86-based device, so which is most IoT devices, we can get our application onto it. And we work very hard to optimize that experience 
so it runs well and it can be managed well by the developer. So we have a runtime engine, so you can see the application live through our streamer. You can make changes and you can optimize your application, see it in action, uh, and that's been a really popular feature of the platform. So the models, the APIs, and the edge deployment capability really are the Always AI platform. Again, making it very end-to-end -end and very intuitive and easy to use for the end user. So that's what we're all about, and we're working hard to innovate uh, every day. So whatever new academic research or whatever new techniques emerge within this exciting field uh, of computer vision, you as a customer of Always AI don't need to worry about that. You're gonna get that advantage through our, through our platform and through your relationship with the platform. That's Always AI. Okay, so what can an enterprise do now to get going and start, start leveraging the amazingness of computer vision? Um, we'd like to help you. So go to alwaysai.co and you'll have an opportunity to either sign up for free and use the platform. You, we've made it very easy and very intuitive and provided a, an amazing set of starter applications to allow somebody to get going and see it in action, which really will help you understand and start to think through how you could use it in your business. Uh, what we've also been very popular is we'd love to do a demo. So you can go to our site, you can go ahead and schedule a time that works for you, and one of our uh, engineers will be very, very happy to do a simple demo, doesn't take a lot of time, walk you through the platform, allow you to ask questions. We can brainstorm with you about how you might wanna uh, test an application or start a, uh, a POC, whatever it is. So either sign up and use it or request a demo and get going. When you use it like any technology, when you actually use it and see it work, it really opens up your eyes about, oh, that's what I could do and how it might impact your business. And that's so much fun for us to work with companies and developers that have that aha moment and we'd love to help you along your journey. So go ahead and do that, go to our website. We'd love you to follow us on our uh, social channels, uh, visit our blog where we have tons of content that we put up every week to uh, help you understand how computer vision is being used, show you some customer use cases, how-to guides, everything that we think uh, the community needs to get going. I'm really happy that we've been able to share this with you in this first part of our new video series, and I look forward to uh, diving even more deeply in our next one. Thank you very much.